Hey my cyber babies, welcome to the YouTube channel of the Mother Love Show. In studio with me today is Johnny Greenlaw. Johnny is a writer, director, and star of a new independent film called Mommy's Box. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, you took on a really big, very heavy, very uh, debated issue here in the United States, and that was mental health. What made you decide to tackle such a big issue? First of all, let me say I'm happy that you did it because Thank you. and stop I'm glad you're not a chump about it because everybody oh no we can't touch mental health issues. Why? Look, I know I'm a nut job. Why it starts somebody? very simply for me, it started uh, it starts at home with your family, mm -hmm. your friends, those those that you're closest to. Mm -hmm. And when you see someone in your family who's suffering with something, uh, mentally, um, you know, I had a cousin who was in and out of these, you know, psych wards and things like that, and you know, trying uh, committed suicide several times, and um, he he eventually he's my age and he's he's no longer with us because of mm. his mental uh, instability, and so you know it hits close to home. It's it's that's but, where it well, started. Your, for your me. family was willing to address it, and some families simply will not address. A mental health issue you know they'll just say well you know you know uncle june's a little touched in the head or you know uh, my brother well you know he's been special like that all his life and not actually saying anything of substance about it and just we'll just push it aside or when they see kids and especially now you know these kids have adhd they got add they got pxyfq they're giving them all kind of drugs yeah. and you don't know what it's doing to their body and what's going to happen later when you know as these kids are developing and we simply don't know we we over medicate uh, just it's just in general we over medicate like there there are better ways to approach it you don't have to. You Wait, dang, don't have to. Dang! Did you? Did you just Pfizer, say there are better? Don't watch this, Pfizer. <laughs> did you just say there are better ways yes. to cope with it? What? Because that's a last give, resort. That's a last resort. They will give you a pill potion of, for anything. I went in for, to the doctor. And I said, "Ooh, I got a hangnail. Can you? I can give you some salve for that. Can you just clip it off with a fingernail clip?" No, there's some natural ways to go about things, and you know, changing a lifestyle and and things like that are should should come before. Anybody is given pills to take, especially children. Especially children. Yeah. And it's and it's really difficult. I I have gone through that personally. Uh, many years ago, my husband and I were were adopting two special needs children, and they had serious psychological issues because they had been, you know, brutally abused and. And, and, and it's a wonder that they even, you know, could even have a conversation. And I remember my family saying to me, you know, because I said, well, we got, we're, we're all going into family counseling, you know, because the kids have issues. You would have thought I said that I was going to stand on a building and shoot at people. You can't put them, you can't go to counseling. What's wrong with you? You can't, I'm like, what? No, that's, so that's, that's thing, what needs to be done. That's, and, the, that's the first step. So, is, and, and because of that, that's why I was drawn to Mommy's Box. Because I understand and I know how people will shudder other people when you say something is wrong, something is not right. right. And, you, and you know that it's an issue to be addressed. You saw it in your own family. What do you want? And not, how difficult was it for you as a filmmaker and as an actor to go through these memories again and to be able to share them effectively with your audience? It was an emotional experience for sure. I mean, and I think that comes across in the film. You know, it's I think it's clear as can be. Um, I, I don't. You know, for me, I think the biggest thing is is if if we can help someone with this film. If if and, and I think we've already helped some people. You know, we had some sneak previews and things like that, and people have come up to me after and said, "Thank you for making this film." You know, it, it reminded me of my family, or you know. This helped me personally, you know, and so... you know, all of us don't want to admit it, but all of us got a little nutty people in our family. That's true, and it's we're not, all a little nutty. And, and, we gotta be, and you got to be nutty to work in this yeah. business. To make a movie, you, you got to be a little nutty. You got to be, no, you got to be... <laughs> look, that's why we're the beautiful people, because yes. you got to be kind of crazy. Yes. You, but, but to be successful in anything, you almost got to have tunnel vision. You almost have to, like, shut out the rest of the world and, and stay focused on this. In studio with me is Johnny Greenlaw. His movie is premiering this Friday at the Arena Cinema right here in Hollywood, California. And we'll be back. 